Hello and welcome to this Excel and SQL Server video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show the similarity between the Excel Lambda function and SQL Server stored procedure. So let's get started. Please kindly consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notification of new videos. So let's see the similarity. By the way, the Excel Lambda function is available in the M365 of Excel and it allows us to create a reusable custom function. Also, the SQL Server stored procedure allows us to create a custom code that we can save and reuse over and over. So let's see how to use the two features in Excel and SQL Server. Now we're going to use the same data set in Excel, which we have here and also in the SQL Server. So let's come to Excel and create our reusable Lambda custom function. Now, based on this data set, we have four columns and this data set is already in an Excel table and the name of the table is data. So what I want to do basically is to filter this data set to only give me only name and group name columns. And also the group name must equal to research and development. So I'm going to just copy this name and group name and let's control C in F1 and G1. All right. So I'm going to use the favorite filter dynamic array function. So let's do that equal sign filter. Now I need the array. So I'm going to give the entire column by looking for this diagonal arrow. And then that is our array comma for the include argument. I want to filter this group name that equals to inside double quotes research and development now this has to be typed accurate then i can close the filter formula so when i control enter cool it's return all the four columns and the group name that equals to research and development however i'm interested in only the name and the group name column therefore i'm going to use the second filter and use what is called an array constant to give me specific columns that i am interested in so f2 in the top cell and let's wrap the second filter here so second filter formula all right now this is going to be the bunch of our array and i'm going to put in a comma at the end of the close bracket for the first filter now for the include argument i'm going to use what is called curly braces so curly braces now this is the way array constant work if i'm not interested in this let's see the first column i'm going to use zero so that will not be returned comma so i'm interested in name column so i'm going to use one to return true comma of course, we need the group name column. So I'm going to type in one to the turn true. And for the last column, which is modified date, I'm not interested in it. So I'm going to use zero. So I close the curly braces and close the second filter. And when I control enter, I have the final output. So we can see the two, um, the name column and the group name. And these are all the group name that equals to research and development. Now we are not done. Let's go ahead and create our custom function. So for that, I'm going to use the Lambda powerful function. So Lambda. Now the Lambda requires parameter. So I'm just going to give whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to just use A as my parameter. Now I need to pass this parameter into my formula. So I'm going to delete this section of my filter and just type in A. For every group name that equals to research and development will be returned. So let's close the lambda and of course when i control enter i'm going to get the calc error so let's do that control enter that's fine so i'm going to copy this formula control c escape then in the formulas tab of the ribbon under the defined names i can click on define name here or click on name, name manager and click on new now let's call our new name my data so that's going to be the name of the custom function so let's delete all this reference control v now you can even press f2 to go through the formula okay now everything is fine so i can click on ok and then i can close the name manager dialog box now i can delete this calc error now let's reuse our newly created my data custom function so equal sign 
equal sign then i can type the i can call the function then open the parentheses and then i can give this group name of course we're interested in group name that equals to research and development so that's the only single criteria we need to provide the input value and of course we can see the argument name the parameters name which is a so we can close off the my data custom formula and then control enter and that gave us the correct results so we can see this is more readable very simple to understand of course we can reuse this custom formula again and again and of course it's spilled to the neighboring columns and the neighboring rows at the bottom so this is where the formula actually lives in so this is how to use the lambda function to create a reusable formula in excel now let's head over to sql server and achieve the same result using the stored procedure okay so in sql server we have this same table human resources department now we are interested in name and the group name that equals to research and development i'm going to copy this for a moment because i need it now let's create a new query or let's open this new query tab here so to create our stop procedure all we need to do is to type in create procedure and then we can give the name to our procedure of course we're going to use my data as the procedure name just like we did in excel then we can type in as and then we can write the code that we're going to store and reuse over time so we can say select now we need um we need um the name column so I need, i'm going to type in name comma and the group group name column okay from let me see the name of the table now the table is okay human resources department okay from human resources dot department now i'm going to use the where clause i'm going to see where so where group name equals to inside single code control v research and development so this has to be inside single code okay let me delete this and i have to close the single code so this is basically and they can use the semicolon to terminate the statements so this is basically how to create stored procedure that we can reuse again and again so simple create procedure and then we give the name for our procedure and then we say as then we write the code which is the query so we want to select the name column the group name from human resources schema name dot department table name and we use where group name equals to research and development and then we can go ahead and execute our query now we can see commands completed successfully and then we can check the procedure that we have created so we can come to the database where we created it which is adventure works 2019 we can come to programmability so let me expand this button now i'm going to right click on this third procedure and click on refresh and i can see my data now let's see how to recall or to reuse the newly created stored procedure all we need to do is to just type in execute you can type in execute and then you give the name of the procedure which is my data press the tab key and then we can select the code and click execute and bam we have the same results we can see we have three rows engineering that equals to research and development tool design research and development research and development that equals to research and development so if you compare that with what you have in excel we can see that we have the same result and of course we can use the stored procedure over and over same thing with the lambda function we can use it over and over so this is the similarity between the excel lambda function and sql server stored procedure I hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like comment share and consider subscribing to the channel thank you and bye for now cheers